What you're about to watch is an excerpt, ex excerpt, damn it, whatever, an excerpt from my upcoming tutorial, which will be four hours long. This is one of the chapters out of like 20 or 30. This is me doing the A-roll edit of the MacBook Pro video. You're gonna see a lot of weird auto hotkey scripts. Those will be explained in the full tutorial later when it's finished. Okay, let's start her up again. Same start as last time. First I do the mono maker, this time on left, doesn't really matter. Then I add the limiter and compressor uh, using my preset auto hotkey script. And of course on the master clip I apply the LUT that Brendan has made for our color. Uh, now actually at this stage he was still messing around with trying to get it to work properly. It was a little bit too yellow and so I'm fiddling around here uh, trying to figure out which version of his LUT I'm supposed to be using, and I end up using the temporary one that he agreed would be okay. It looks a little bit too blue, honestly, and we did fix that later. Apple products get covered to death, and for the most part by people who are adding back in that dynamics effect. Are more intimately familiar with Mac. Right here, I manually adjust the gain to add five decibels. I want to get it to just barely kiss negative three. So it's important then to- That's what we decided uh, sounds the best. I make a edit right there, and then I look at the very first frame just before I cut it out, just to make sure that there's nothing abnormal in there that I might want to be concerned about. Okay, going back to the script here to begin the edit, and uh, back to Premiere, Lynn, let's begin. Apple profitable pack. Lol. Apple products get covered to death, and for the most part by people who are more intimately familiar with what this means. These stupid Lumetri looks keep reappearing, so I have to keep pushing them back. Perspective buyers and mobile computers moving forward. Here we go. Oh, I accidentally cut that piece out because I thought it was useless. Are you interested? See, that piece was useless. You see? I always gotta listen to those little ones. Apple products get covered to death. No. And for the most part, by people who are more intimate. 2016, from the perspective of a long-time Windows user who isn't expecting to switch platforms anytime soon. How's that? Better? So that was an alternative intro. Every Apple product gets covered to death. Oh, he's got for the three. Most part, by people who are more intimately Let's see what, uh... The I think let's see what he did all the way over here. Because he might, he might be doing it again for all I know. You see, I always edit to the waveform, always on the first pass. Here you see that I'm setting my audio volume to some number and then I'm not touching it. And as before, all of my most commonly used shortcuts are directly underneath my left hand for quick access. Every Apple product gets covered to death. And for the most part by people who are more a Windows user who isn't expecting to switch platforms anytime soon. Okay. So my MacBook Pro 2016 took so long to arrive because I I don't even need to watch this. So I'm going to move to the next gap where he messes up and fix that and then fix the next one and so on. Completely redesigned keyboard, a gigantic trackpad, a cooling system that gets a little shouty under heavy load, but who's oops. A 5500 milliamp hour battery, a touch A 5500 milliamp hour battery, yep. a touch bar, 880 by 1880 wide gamut display with a blinding peak brightness of five, a touch bar above our battery. Okay, so that's what I have to find. A 5,500 milliamp hour battery, a touch bar above the complete by 1880 wide gamut display with a blinding peak brightness of 500 nits. It's absolutely stunning. A surprise to no one, by the way. So not overly loud, but very competent speakers. A 5,500 milliamp hour battery. There a it touch is. Bar above the completely redesigned keyboard. F1, F1. Yep. A 5500 milliamp hour battery, a touch bar above. Okay, now go to the next one. If you mean by that is, is the MacBook Pro 2016 overpriced from the Let's start though with some spec discussion. Is the MacBook Pro 2016 overpriced from the hardware that you get? If I mean, it's Apple's market over cost from their support. And there we go, we found it. Hardware that you get. If by that you mean. And F1, yep. If you mean by that is Apple's markup over their cost from their suppliers higher than the typical PC OEM, then yes. Let's see where he starts here. <clears throat> And I.O. is... Well, yeah, I'm <sighs> and I.O. is... I wasn't satisfied with where I made the cut, so I just went backwards. And I.O. is... Oh, got it. See? You just gotta look for the waveforms. You get you get good at it. You can almost recognize words. And I.O. is... And I... Intel's Thunderbolt See where that matches. Has some huge real world ah. Vastly superior. And cut. Yep. Intel's Thunderbolt and 3. And F1. Yep. Intel's Thunderbolt 3 has some huge... Go to this one. Making matters worse. Okay, that's what we gotta look for. Ugh. Oh, he uh, 
That's an extra thing there. Ugh. See, I always got to check those. Ugh. Those might not be relevant. But you can see that I matched up the waveform, and it was very easy to tell Ugh. where that belongs. So let's just cut Making the first uh, Apple has intention. Go to the next one. And the palm rejection is outstanding. Which I can't really say about the keyboard. Out of the gate, I absolutely it was is outstanding. Found it. Not so much the case <laughs> of the keyboard. Sometimes I get lucky. And the palm rejection is outstanding. The palm rejection, which I was really worried hmm. about when I saw how big it was, is outstanding. I like his first take of this, so I'm just going to keep that. Second nature in minutes. And the palm rejection, which I was really worried about. I color it purple because I'm not quite sure about it yet. And uh, W. And the palm rejection is outstanding. And Q. Which I yeah, I'm going to keep it. So I turned it blue again. Out of the gate, I absolutely... Is outstanding. Cut. Oh, I can't say the same of the keyboard. I don't hate it yep. as much as I did. I'll fill that gap in uh, later. And go to the next one. See how quick this is? Pro means... Do you want peripherals and some more... Beyond that, the true power users. Those guys are going to customize and hack the crap out of it to get the experience they want anyway. Whether that's, you know, uh, remapping keys or nothing the bar. At least they will if they can afford one. And they're willing to put out... Hmm. Okay, looks like he does the pro thing a lot sooner than that. Pro means you want peripherals and... Back to the keyboard. I never got comfortable enough with it. I felt like I wanted to work on a longer writing project. And typing suggestions in the touch bar won't help anyone but the most... Pro means you want... Project and typing suggestions in the touch bar won't help anyone but the most egregious hunt and peckers, which is exactly what allowed me to come to peace with this product. I'm not repeating what I'm saying. Let's not talk to pro. Because I'm saying that I'm Duh. Nothing we make is designed for pros. How many actually bloody pro creative professionals are even out there? And as for programmers, no escape key? I mean, who cares? You're probably hacking the Chromebook anyway. Cut. Apple has redefined oh. the conventional product Undo. tiers in a way that apparently, given that these things are selling like hotcakes, makes sense to people. Mainstream now means browsing Facebook. Cut. On right there. Not having a hundred oh, printers not yet. connected. And pro now there we go. You want okay, found it. Decent performance. Or in the case of the 13 inch, you don't even need the horses. You just want to be one of the cool kids. And, and uh, F1 to cut that whole section pro out. Means you want peripherals and, and now, some other performance. Uh, or in the case of the 13 inch, go back. some decent performance. Pro means you want peripherals and some decent performance. Pro means you want peripherals and some more performance. Or in the case of the 13 inch, you take it off. Let's see, which take do I like the best? You want peripherals. You want peripherals and some more performance or in the case of the 13 inch you don't really I'm not sure why I decided to cut it together that way but uh, that'll be covered by b-roll so there's not going to be a jump cut want to feel like one of the cool kids and spending more money to adjust your volume or scrub through a YouTube video faster is going to get you there and anyone beyond that the true power users well those guys are going to customize and hack the crap out of it to get the experience they want anyway even that's just playing like or in the case of the inch and anyone beyond that the true power users well those guys are going to customize and hack the crap out of it to get the experience they want anyway even if that's just putting yan cat in the light bar light bar touch bar that's okay i was kind of stuffy during that last thing anyway sorry i'm almost there or in the case of the 13 inch you don't even need the horses but you want to feel like one of the cool kids and spending more money to adjust your volume or scrub through youtube videos a little faster will get you there and as for anyone beyond that the true power through a youtube video faster is going to get you there and cut both of those and as for anyone beyond that the true power users well those guys are going to customize and hack the crap out of it to get the experience they want anyway at least they will if they can afford one, and they're willing to put up with the well-managed during standby um, and under light loads, but uh, less than advertised battery life. And cut. And then go to the next thing. Q. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike. And there's the end. You should totally join. Now that you're done doing all that stuff, you're probably wondering what's watching. And, watch next, so uh, w, w right Super. now. Done. And then move that over there. Okay, see? So that's how you edit together a roll. Now you can see that for some of those cut-togethers, I was really efficient, and I found where I needed to go right away. And for others... I had to look around a lot more, and then once I found it, I didn't immediately have a good idea of how I wanted to edit it together, because I had to listen to the alternate takes and so on and so forth. But that's basically the idea. That's how I cut together a roll. It's very quick. Oh, and you uh, hold control to, uh, well, to do that. <laughs> there's, there's so many things going on here so quickly. And then, in this case, now I'm uh, putting the slogan in at this moment. So it, the order's not always exactly the same.